Welcome to Zero to Pro Training.com. In this video, we will continue to talk about questions commonly asked in a Hadoop interview. Don't go to a Hadoop interview without watching the videos in this series. What does Job Tracker do? Job Tracker accepts jobs from clients. It determines the location of the data by communicating with the name node. It locates task tracker nodes at or near the data that has available slots. It delivers the work to the chosen task tracker nodes. It receives heartbeat signals from task tracker in order to monitor progress of tasks. What is task tracker? Task tracker is a node in the cluster. Its job is to accept tasks like map reduce and shuffle operations from a job tracker. In Hadoop, what is the relationship between jobs and tasks? There is one to many relationship between the two entities. One job could be broken down into one or many tasks. Let's say 100 tasks were launched by Hadoop for a job and one of the tasks failed. What will happen to the task? Hadoop will restart the task on some other task tracker. If the task fails more than four times, Hadoop will kill the job. The default setting could be changed. How does Hadoop achieve parallelism? The parallelism is achieved by dividing the tasks across many nodes. How does Hadoop deal with the situation when few slow nodes slow down rest of the program? To address this situation, Hadoop provides a mechanism called speculative execution. We will continue with more questions in the next part, including understanding the speculative execution in detail. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.